Wyoming National Recreational Trail is about 76 miles long, starts near Hoback Junction in Wyoming, just south of Jackson Hole, and heads south towards Big Piney. I decided to try to ride about 52 miles of it. I got loaded up and headed out. A late start because of travel time. Got going about 11 o'clock. Headed up the mountain, over the top, seen some great country as we're going, and headed down into Willow Creek Drainage, headed south. Hopefully, I was going to do about 15 miles a day uh, to make a good camper. Thanks for the night. Made it about 10, 11 miles in, starting to get late in the day. I needed to find a campsite. So I took a look around, couldn't find any place to feed or anything else, and I met and ended up finding a uh, outfitter's camp. No one was there, um, so I borrowed his saddle tent and uh, set up tent for there and, and uh, left the next morning. End of the first day, we did about 11 miles, got here to Hunting camp, got set up, got everything laid out. It's going to be not too cold tonight, 64 degrees right now, so it should be okay tonight. Um, no bugs, uh, the trail's been decent, and uh, hopefully it stays that way the rest of the trip. See you tomorrow. After breakfast, I got packed up, headed out. I had a long day ahead of me. I wanted to get an early start. We're about 12 miles in, found a great place for horses to eat a little bit of graze on that. Uh, great water, great everything. Wish I would have camped here last night. Um, looking good.
beautiful weather, uh, great scenery, haven't seen anybody. Hopefully we can make Roosevelt Meadows this today. Little did I know what was ahead of us and what we would encounter by the end of the day. About 19 to 20 miles in on the trip, I got into a massive landslide that took out the trail. Mud and down trees everywhere. I tried to climb out, but there was nowhere to go. After sawing trees and plodding through mud holes and repacking the pack horse twice, I decided to turn around. Well, I had to turn around. I got on an avalanche. I mean, it was a big one. Probably three miles long along the river. Must have been a snow dam or something blew out. Uh, lost the trail, lost the bank. All I could do is climb up and I had no idea where I was going. Uh, so I decided, you know, maybe head, head back to the beginning on that. So I um, turned around and heading back. Found a great campsite. <clears throat> Spend one more night, and then I got 12 miles back out tomorrow. After trying to get to that avalanche area, horses need a good grass feed. They're enjoying it. Good morning. Last day we're heading out to the avalanche area, but it was a good night. It's only 46 degrees out. We got about 12 miles to go today, though, on that. So we'll be in a hurry to get going on uh, that. I called last night on the sat phone and and uh, arranged for arrangements for pickup. So it's a good day. Cook some bacon. Frozen burrito. Breakfast time. Good bacon. <coughs> Horses are doing good. They are feet all night long. They'll do good today, but not too sore. After breakfast, I saddled the horses, packed them up, headed back down the trail. I had about 12 more miles to go today, and I was hoping to make it by 2-3 o'clock. Since this was the second week of September already, I knew I couldn't come back to this year. I was making plans for next year, going through the maps in my head, 
and I know I'm going to check with the Forest Service to see if they made a reroute around this avalanche. If there's any horse packers out there that want to try to make this trip with me next year, let me know in the comments down below.